This week, our show resembles the set of Cheers. We'll take you behind the scenes of new ad campaigns that convince you to have another beer. We'll talk about new trends in the alcohol advertising sector and another take on township marketing. We'll look at a brand new experiential campaign that has consumers talking and tips on how to market during turbulent economic times. The very warmest of welcomes to Mags on Media. All right, let's get started. First up this week, if you consider yourself a beer connoisseur, you'll probably want to stay tuned. With government's proposed ban on all alcohol advertising, there might be some rocky times ahead. But in the meantime, campaigns in the sector are certainly getting more innovative. At a recent ad forum event, I spoke to some experts about new work and why the ads are working. What's happening is the shift from really being brand focused to philosophy focused. I think that you're seeing the brands that are certainly finding success, brands such as, as um, Johnny Walker uh, and Heineken, I think, are certainly moving towards an idea of inspiring people rather than telling people their story and what they're about. And I think that there certainly seems to be a shift in the market where people are certainly responding to that and, and certainly seeing it as an aspiration uh, to be part of that. What makes any good ad, and that is not undermining your target audience and not putting them in a niche position where you assume what it is that they will like, purely based on their age, their race, their sex. I think it's about being a welcome guest in their space and being entertaining. Experience. Uh, brands want to create an, an engaging experience with, with consumers and once consumers buy into the experience, the product sort of comes in and it gets associated with the experience. So when you think great partying and then the first thing that pops into your head is Heineken because you know it's the experience you get with it comes with great entertainment. When you think soccer, the first thing that pops into your mind is Castle because Castle is synonymous with soccer. So experience, experience, experience. Is there one great thing that makes a good liquor ad these days? I would say the same things that apply in any other category. Focus, single-mindedness, and understanding the consumer. A confident brand, a brand that really knows what it's about. I suspect their strategy is one word, which is dry, and they carry that through in everything, from the packaging to the communication strategy to the communication personality to the product itself. And I think there's a, it, it, a real sign of confidence that comes through in that brand and everything they do. Well, let's take a specific look now at a new beer commercial as part of its ongoing brand campaign. An ad dubbed The Chef follows on Amstel's award-winning Boxer. The Chef was shot in the kitchen of the iconic Mount Nelson Hotel in Cape Town and includes the hotel's actual executive chef, Rudy Liebenberg, and his team. Let's go behind the scenes. We're here today at the shoot of our new commercial, the chef. It tells the story of St. Piwe, a young man whose dream is to become a chef and a restaurant owner. And it basically just tells a story from him getting a job as a dishwasher and working himself up from the bottom um, to where he ultimately wants to be. The, the chef is the follow up of our other commercial, the boxer. And both are uh, built off the same idea. Things get better when you take your time. Everybody busy on the lines. Okay, Sandile, and action! This one kind of felt like it's like a mini movie in a way. And you get to like, obviously, like add training and stuff like that, like preparing for like a character. So you need to embody the character and stuff like that. So yeah, it was, it was interesting. For me, it felt like shooting a movie. Never really felt like a commercial. I mean, the interesting thing about Mav is that he hasn't got a lot of experience, but he has the premium values that Amstel looks for. Because he didn't have a lot of experience, I think he feels quite humble and honest. And I think it makes him a lot more credible and believable. He makes this, the story feel quite genuine and honest. He's 
taking his time to learn all the tricks and trades that are, are that you need to have to become a really good chef. And it's not easy. There are no shortcuts. There are no quick fixes. And that's also what I'm saying. There are no shortcuts, quick fixes to brewing a good beer. And that's how the story of St. Peeway and Amstel are really connected, taking your time to achieve true goals. Well, the ad agency is Owen Kessel. The production company is Velocity Films. Let us know what you think of the finished ad. We'll put that on our Facebook page. Amstel is also adding another dimension to their beer bottles, as Donovan Bryan, ECD of Owen Kessel, explains. You have a, a, a AR reader on your phone or, or you download something off the net on your computer and you point an Amstel logo at that, it will pull our new Amstel Chef ad onto that device and you'll be able to view that piece of communication from your device. So basically any logo becomes an opportunity to have an immersive brand experience. Beer is all about fun and it's all about being a little bit playful, right? Um, and so when you're with your mates drinking a beer like um, in a bar or something, it's quite fun. It's just a fun little thing to pull your phone out and then be able to view the ad. My name is Romano Zopoy. Um, I came to fame is bringing quad bikes to Soweto. More news from the world of beer and Hansa is saluting real South African success stories in a brand new campaign called Cheers to the Dreamers, which aims to celebrate the country's little known movers and shakers. It does so by giving small businesses around the country free advertising, be it on radio, television or in print campaigns. This complements the beer brand's new payoff line, Brewed for the Dreamers. Here's to you. Cheers. Cheers. And if you're really into the finer things, the League of Beers website, which was established only last year, have uh, just taken the art of brewing up a notch or two. For the first time in South Africa, craft beer enthusiasts can now order finely brewed experimental beers from obscure breweries. The latest offering being a prestigious Indian pale ale. It's called Imperial Red. Well, let's uh, stay with alcohol brands, and Sky Vodka has come out tops among young people as the most popular spirit brand in South Africa, according to a social media survey by Black Magazine. Apparently, those who are drawn to the brand are high flyers and people who are particularly brand conscious. Coming up on Mags on Media, why townships are being described as the final frontier for retail and marketing during tough economic times. Are advertising agencies doing enough? News that moves. ENCA.com.